Good morning children. Today we shall learn what is speed and how to calculate speed of a moving object. We already know that an object is in motion if its position changes with time in relation to a stationary object. Some objects have slow motion while some others have fast motion. So how can we say that the motion is slow or fast? Well, the distance moved by objects in a given interval of time can help us to decide which one is faster or slower. Say, in the same time, if a child moved from a distance A to B while a man moved from distance A to C, then we can say the man was faster as in the same time the man covered the greater distance while the child covered a smaller distance. We can also find who is fast or slow by finding the time different objects take to cover the same distance. For example, when there is a race in your school, there is a start point and an end point. Every child starts the race at the same time but the winner in the race is the child who covers this distance fastest that is in the least amount of time. The idea of how slow or fast an object is moving is found by the distance it covers in a unit time. This is called speed of the moving object. So you can find the speed of any moving object by knowing the distance covered and the time taken to cover this distance. We can write speed equal to distance covered divided by time taken. We call the distance covered by an object in the unit time as the speed of the object. We already know the SI unit of time is second and is denoted by small s. The larger units of time are minutes, hours, etc. Now coming to distance the SI unit of distance is meter. Its symbol is small m. The larger unit of distance is kilometer. So what would be the basic unit of speed? Since the speed is distance by time, the base unit of speed is meter per second. Of course, it could also be expressed in other units such as meter per minute or kilometer per hour. The SI unit of speed is meter per second. Other units of speed are kilometer per hour, miles per hour, meter per minute, centimeter per second, etc. Now, if a train covers 1200 kilometers in 20 hours, can you find the speed of the train? Yes, it is simple. We divide the distance covered from the time it takes to cover that distance that is 1200 divided by 20 which is equal to 60 km per hour. So we calculated the speed of train as 60 km per hour. When we say the speed of train is 60 km per hour it means that it will cover a distance of 60 kilometers in one hour. But a train does not move with a constant speed for an hour. In fact, it will start slowly and then pick up speed. So, when we say that the speed of train is 60 km per hour, we usually consider only the total distance covered by it in one hour. We don't care whether the train was moving with a constant speed or not during that hour. The speed which we calculate is actually the average speed of the train which we refer as the speed. Thus, the speed is total distance covered by the total time taken to cover that distance. Now you must be wondering, how does a driver of a vehicle know at what speed he is driving? You know, there is a device called speedometer in all the vehicles which indicate the instantaneous speed of the vehicle. 
that is the speed of the vehicle at that instant of time here the speedometer is indicating that the speed of the vehicle is right now 50 km per hour when you are traveling back home from school in a bus sometimes due to traffic it takes a lot of time to reach home correct the bus runs very slowly stopping in between due to traffic so the bus is not moving at the same speed all the time and is moving at a fast speed one time and slow at the other such motion is called non uniform motion on the other hand if the road is vacant or generally on the highway with many lanes the bus moves at a faster speed and it is also constant all the time this is known as uniform motion coming back to the circus did we see any uniform motion there yes we did here in the start the speed of the running horse was changing constantly so the running horse was an example of non uniform motion but later it was running with a constant speed that is it had uniform motion in short we can say if the speed of a moving object keeps changing its motion is said to be non uniform on the other hand if the object keeps moving with a constant speed it is said to be in uniform motion so today we have learned what is speed and how do we calculate it that's all for today bye bye kids